Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Authentication Paradox video series. I'm Mandeep Khera, CMO of Secure Auth. In this series, we cover different topics on best practices for authentication. And every time we have a different guest. And today I have a special guest, David Bulas, who's Director of Solution Engineering for Secure Auth. Welcome, David. Thanks, Mandeep. And our topic is very interesting today. It's focused on biobehavioral analytics. I'll repeat that a few times. Um, it's an interesting topic because it's very relevant right now in the authentication space. So David will give us some insights uh, from his perspective about this topic. So David, let's start at the foundation level. What is biobehavioral analytics? Oh, that's a great question. So it's really combining two things down. It's combining biometrics and behavioral analytics. And so what it's doing is it's taking signals from both things we can detect about a person, their fingerprint, what their face looks like, um, you know, voice patterning. There's a bunch of different ways to take something from the person and then combine that with their behavior. What are the things they normally do? Do they normally log on from these locations at these times? Are they accessing these kinds of applications? Right. These are the kinds of things that we want to we, that we're looking at. And taken separately, biometrics and behavioral anal analysis are both powerful tools and powerful symbols for si signals for security. But combined together, they're 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 exponentially more powerful and make it extremely difficult for somebody to fake being me, which is the whole goal, right? We want to know that the person behind the keyboard is who they say they are, and biobehavioral analytics is a really important tool for doing that. Yeah, and it sounds very interesting because obviously it's more scientific and more methodical, right? Uh, but wh why is it important right now? I mean, it's uh, yeah, of course the cyber attacks are happening more and ransomware and all of that stuff. Uh, but what? Why is it so important right now? Well, the there's a growing consensus that the tools we're using, the signals we're using, just aren't sufficient. We know that multi-factor authentication is really important, but multi-factor authentication with weak factors just doesn't actually give you more security. We've seen plenty of examples where people thought they were doing MFA and really it was simply one signal, you know, username and password isn't two, but even in cases where, you know, they protect one secret with another and, and then they use both, again, you're not really giving yourself protection. And because of that, because as we're seeing attacks on these more traditional factors for authentication, we need bigger, better tools. And that's one of the that that's what biobehavioral analytics offers us a significantly more secure factor, a combination of factors, in fact, that gives us better assurance that the people are that they say they are. And by the way, one of the coolest things about this is not only is it way, way, way more secure, but it's actually easier for people. Like in my in the daily life, I just do my stuff. And since the the system is watching those things and recording them and analyzing them. I don't actually have to do anything different. I just have to do my job. And it makes the MFA part way less intrusive for the employees in your company too. So it's win-win. Better security, easier on the people who it affects. That's, you know, that's yeah. why it's such an interesting fact, an interesting topic. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, so, so traditional MFAs uh, have been around for almost two decades now, right? And, and I, I still talk to a lot of CISOs and VPs of information security at different companies, and I'm sure you do as well. And it's interesting how many of them are still tied to traditional MFAs. And when I ask them why, uh, you know, part of it is not understanding where the market is right now, or, you know, sometimes it's inertia. And then we find out that even MFA, traditional MFA is only propagated in like 28% of the enterprise and remaining is exposed. And part of it is because of friction caused by MFA, right? Like you mm -hmm. said. And so do you truly believe that biobehavioral analytics will solve those issues and make it much easier for, for companies oh, to move off of that? 100%. So after joining Secure Off myself and seeing and my logons to my desktop, I never want to go back. It is so much easier for me to get access to the tools I need to do my job. And it's true about our customers as well. And again, it's because they don't actually have to do anything. They just have to do their stuff in the same way they always do them. And those patterns then reinforce the behavioral part. And the bio part, that stuff's really straightforward to do nowadays too. So click, click, Barbara Trick. Now they have access to the things they need in a much less intrusive way than even traditional MFA approaches. That's awesome. So what would you recommend for companies um, 
to move forward with this, um, David? What what should be the yeah. next? Well, great question. So first of all, I think every company should be assessing their security needs on a regular basis. And one of the key things that everybody uses is MFA. If you're still using the same MFA methods you were using even three years ago, you probably need to reassess. The attack vectors and the ability for attackers to fool MFA approaches, it's all out there. Quick Google, take a look at all the things that have been done with username, password combinations, with push to text, with email one-time codes, all of these things which were the top of security, not surprisingly, the attackers have attacked those. So I think everybody needs to take an assessment of what they're using to secure their business. And one of the first things you're going to look at is how do they get access to it in the first place? That's where MFA comes in. If you're going to do that, then you're going to want to look at more modern ways, more modern factors to plug into your MFA engine. And that's where biobehavioral analytics is going to play a big role for you. You can make your lives easier. Oh easier and more secure. Sounds like a great advice. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining David today and sharing your insights. Really appreciate it. Oh, happy to join Mandeep. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching and uh, uh, we'll wait uh, for the next episode and please join us for that. And then in the meantime, please go to our website, secureauth.com. Uh, we also have an ROI calculator there, roi.secureauth.com, where you can see how invisible MFA, biobehavioral analytics, passwordless authentication can help you really get an immediate ROI. So please check us out. Thanks very much for joining.